what is going on guys my name is Knor and welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to stream and record at the same time and I've been really trying to figure out how to do this for the longest time since I am a trick shotter and I do like to stream so like what happens if I was streaming and I hit a shot and if you guys n do stream when you use like XSplit or OBS you can't record at the same time you can't have the Elgato software open so I actually did figure out a way on how to do it and uh, let's just get into it so I'm gonna talk about the materials you're gonna need the materials you're gonna need is you're gonna need a Elgato and I don't know if it works with the PVR because uh, well I'll I'll show I'll I'll show you guys later in the video why and you're gonna need XSplit OBS OBS doesn't work on my computer because it just constantly freezes after uh okay get rid of that um because it just constantly freezes when I open it up and like I start preview stream and whatnot it freezes my computer and I have to hard shut down so I don't really use OBS anymore I use XSplit so the next thing you're gonna need or you you can need is dual monitors this is optional but it would help and you'll you'll see why in the late a little bit later and then the next thing is you're gonna need a decent PC and like my computer isn't even that good it has like four gigs of RAM it's it's well I mean it's good but it's not like really good so you, you just need a decent one I'm I don't think this works on laptops because I don't know if you can use XSplit on laptops I I well on my laptop you can't use OBS so I'm guessing XSplit didn't work but I didn't try it yet so I'm guessing laptops don't work but once again I could be wrong cuz I I haven't tried it yet All right so let's get into the real in the tutorial um I'm just going to change it I guess okay let's get into the tutorial uh I'm going to start out with uh the game capture HD so this is the Elgato software if you guys didn't know and yeah so when I normally when I normally like I'm just playing and recording my Elgato is like this it's about halfway and I don't know why that's just kind of how I left it there once and so what you're basically going to be doing is you're going to be recording this screen not with the Elgato software but with the XSplit software and I'll get into that once we do the XSplit software but I'm just gonna show you some like the settings I have for this so I do have my Xbox set, Xbox set to 720p and that is because then I can record in 59 frames per second whereas if I had it set to 1080p it would be 29.7 frames per second so that's why I have it at uh, 720p which is which is recommended if you're like a sniper because then they can uh, twixter it and slow it down and stuff and it looks nice so if you don't have that at 720p just change your Xbox to 720p and then you should be fine so the next thing is I have my game audio set to zero always you can adjust this accordingly um, I just have it at zero and okay so live commentary I like to actually click this so that way it has my voice like it, it like uh, like it, it'll record my voice like if I go back in time it will like record what I'm saying so like it's really nice cuz then like if you if you play G, uh, GB's like game battles and you have a video or you get like a game that's really good and you're live streaming then you can record the video and uh, like it'll have your voice in it but now that I think about it, the only thing is like if you like want to make a video like Nade Shot and like Scumpy with they they have like their their live stream layout and like their face cam and everything, that's not gonna work for this because it's just recording it this is what you'll record basically. You won't see the the overlay you'll have that that'll be an X split. But this this is mostly based around snipers, but it also works for like gameplays if you're live streaming and then you get like a camera or something, 
you can record it and use that as gameplay and talk over it but if you want a video that's kind of like nature and scumpy I'm not sure how to do that quite yet I was trying to figure it out but I couldn't figure it out so if I do figure out how to do it I'll probably make an update video on this but as of now it'll basically just be like you'll just be able to do this and your voice and then basically all the rest you don't really it doesn't really matter live stream that you don't have to mess with that and then you just have your video name okay so I'm gonna jump into XSplit now and hopefully I can oh uh, yeah I'll, sh I'll show you how all the settings I have in XSplit so like I said I don't think this work in, works in OBS because you don't have a screen region capture you have like a, um, a you have like a a screen capture but it's not like a it's, you can't choose where you do it okay so now that I have this open oh it already has some of my stuff for it but like I already have this somewhat set up but like I have the microphone set up which is just like if you're talking and like they'll obviously hear you on the stream and then I have the overlay right here so you just all you have to do is just click that add audio device for the microphone and add media file for the overlay and okay so this is basically this is the biggest part of the tutorial pretty much is you go here and you click add a screen well okay I'm not gonna do that quite yet because so you cuz you're you're recording this screen area you want you kinda wanna have it big so that way you don't have to zoom in on XSplit cuz like if you have it like this big you're gonna have to zoom in quite a bit on here so it'll fit the corners but the bigger you have it hold on the bigger you have it the less you'll have to zoom in so if you make it like this big you know the quality is still pretty good hold on let me move it so that way it's not dark okay so like see you could the quality is uh pretty good what is this go or okay whatever but as you can see like the quality is still pretty good cause it is 720p so the bigger you have it the less you'll have to zoom in which will actually make the quality better cause then you it won't be as pixelated so that's why having dual monitors would be helpful cause you can make this like full screen and then you could move X split over on the other screen but I don't have another screen so okay so what I just do because I have one monitor I don't even have dual screen monitors is I make this like I'll make it like kind of fit so that way this X split will fit on it and it'll also like it won't interrupt any of this so you slide this over a little bit more and like you can basically just get it as much as you want I'm gonna move it out a little bit more okay that see that's good enough for me so now what all you have to do is add add screen region and just kinda copy this it doesn't it probably doesn't have to be exact but like obviously the better it is the the better quality it's gonna be so oh whoops I screwed up on the screen region hold on hopefully I can get it to work Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't really know why it's doing that. To be honest with you, um, I think I just made it a little bit too big, or something. I don't know. Oh gosh, this is, this is actually the first time this has ever happened. So. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. I'll try and figure out what's what's why this is doing this alright guys I figure out what I did wrong or what happened and now I this is honestly the weirdest thing that has ever happened but uh, what happened was the screen was all weird because hold on, this what it was like this like the captured layer window was unchecked and I don't I honestly don't even know why it was unchecked is I I haven't even checked that or anything. So you what you want you want to have that checked and then it will show your screen and it'll be 
real good. So I'm gonna turn this off so that way, like, you can see the whole thing. So yeah, so now you can stream and go and you can stream and record at the same time. So basically, you just uh, click streaming, stream, and actually, I think it, the reason why it happened was because I have the recording software on, but. But anyway, you just go to broadcast and then you add your channel or whatever. You have all these things to stream to. And I just streamed to Twitch. And yeah, so that's basically about it. Oh, uh, one more thing is you're going to have to mute. You're going to have to go into your mixer and mute some of the things. Like I muted these two things. And I, I keep this muted all the time because I don't know. I just don't even care about that. But otherwise if you don't mute these you'll get a really weird echo in your stream and it's like I it honestly is so weird so yeah you're gonna have to mute those two things and the next thing is you're gonna go have to go to tools and general settings and you're gonna have to change the audio delay because obviously because like the delay is gonna it's gonna be quite a bit of delay and mine is set to 2000 and like that is close enough where it's like good enough but it's not exact so like just you, to be able to test this out the only way I figured out is if you hit apply okay and then you actually start the stream and then to test it I would go like I'm going up to Xbox Live right now and like as I hit now I, I pushed up on the analog stick and then go on your stream like go to twitch tv and look at your stream and then see if it's synced up and then if it's not synced up then you will then uh, change it accordingly and i would probably move like by 200 so like if it's off move up by like 200 or 500 you know s you have to move it quite a bit for it to actually do anything so yeah that's basically about it i like to keep mine at 2000 because that's close enough so I would probably try 2000 first and see if it's good for you and then yeah and then if if it's off you would have to actually stop streaming and then go into general settings because you can't go into general settings while you're streaming so yeah and then I you can just obviously keep this on and then if you hit something you just you go back into the stream you can go back in time and record it all and it's really good because then your videos are HD whereas like if you stream at Twitch sometimes when you try and capture your video it's not HD so and then also because this is a screen region you can show other things like I could show my Skype call in this if you have like a a video or something you can show and then obviously you can always add more stuff like uh, like a title or something you know I'll just put hey and you know it's all it's all good you can add this stuff in and shows on stream and it's really nice this is definitely helpful for trick shotting because you can stream a trick shot at the same time and I think that's a lot why a lot of like snipers and stuff they don't stream that much because they don't want to like hit clips and then have to just throw that away because they can't record it or anything so this is my best way this is the way I figured out how to do it but if you guys like have any other way to do it or it's an easier way just please tell me and any questions or anything just put in the comments below I'll make sure to read all the comments and take in all the opinions and whatnot and yeah so just please like this video if it helped you guys at all and yeah just subscribe if you're new or if you haven't already and yeah I'll see you guys next video peace